So what can happen to a startup? Well, the best thing that can happen to a startup is that it can grow into a company, and hopefully a large company, after you've found a repeatable and scalable business model. Or two is, you could still be pivoting and iterating as you continue to search for a business model. Or three is, you could have found a business model, uh, but maybe one that isn't an explosive growth, but you could be growing slowly and barely breaking even. Or four is, maybe you never found a business model that can make money and you ran out of money and time uh, and you shut your company down. So the answer is all of the above. So let's take a start at business models and customer development. But you know, before we even begin, one of the first questions I tend to ask is, what is a company? What is it that I'm trying to actually start? Just for the sake of this class, I think we ought to use this definition. A company is a business organization which sells a product or service in exchange for revenue and profit. So explicitly for the purpose of this class, I'm eliminating nonprofits. Let me be clear, you could use the business model canvas and customer development to go through the process for nonprofits, but actually having some goals that are fairly concrete, revenue and profit allows us to measure whether we're succeeding and failing in very clear ways. And that leads us to the question, what's a startup? You told us what a company is, but how does a startup differ? And for me, you have to know, I spent 20 years doing eight startups, and I never could have given you a definition off the top of my head what a startup is. I always thought a startup is where we had free food, or there was a great small team, or you could bring your dog and whatever, but I never quite understood the purpose of a startup. So I'm going to give you Steve's definition of what it is you're actually doing. One is a startup is a temporary organization designed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. Now let's go back and parse this sentence uh, because this is pretty important. Number one is temporary. The goal of a startup is not to be a startup. A startup actually aims to become a company. Well, that's kind of interesting, because if you really think about it, at least if you're a web mobile startup, there's no such thing as a 10-year-old startup. There's a two-year-old startup attached to an eight-year-old failure. A startup is a temporary organization. And what are you supposed to be doing? Well, while well, you think it might be building the product, or maybe if you're thinking harder, it might be get customers, actually, no. A startup is actually designed to search for something. Well, that's kind of interesting. What is it that I'm supposed to be searching for? Let's see. Well, number one, you want to search for something that's repeatable. And repeatable means the same thing that works on Monday works on Wednesday and works on Friday and works next week and works the next month. That is, I want to find sales and marketing and engineering processes that are repeatable. And I also want to find them scalable. What scalable means, I put a dollar in, I get $2 out. Or I put a dollar in, maybe I get $10 out. But I better not be losing money on a continual basis or I'm called a out-of-business startup. Okay, I, I know I'm searching now for something repeatable and scalable, but what is it that I'm searching for? And what you're searching for is the business model. And that business model search is the basis of the rest of the class. So let's take a look and see how we become a company.